from GSS intern teachers harassed. Go, just try to do, do I'm anything. A, I'm gonna make record. I do it again. To Bruce John fighting for justice. Are you a man of integrity? Polo Kimani injecting. I've decided to uh, let the government fuck me and lubricant. We are coming for you! Allah, how are you? So many pastors have messed up this country once they decided to accept corrupt leaders to talk on God's altar. Even those pastors are also working in the government and also taking part in corruption. Where are we heading to as a country? Listen to this. Let me tell you how much pastors have messed up this country. This is commission called the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And they're supposed to be handling corruption cases in this country. You've seen Morara going around the country exposing to us all the things that are going on. And you know about the JKIA airport and the Adani deal and all these crazy things that are going on. Hmm? The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, which is supposed to be managing these things, they're supposed to be the whistleblowers, they're supposed to be doing this thing. Do you know who the chairperson is? Bishop David Oginde. Mm. Bishop David Oginde was the bishop for Sitam Christ is the Answer Ministries. He was their bishop for 10 years until he retired. After he retired, he was personally appointed by Dr. Zakayo himself. Mm. Dr. Dr. Corruption personally appointed him to be the head of the EACC. So this is Kandul Sote Zikitokea. You know what the EACC does? All they do is arrest po police officers who are collecting 50 shillings on the road. They only go for small fish, small fish offenses to make it appear that there's something going on. But those scandals for billions? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And it's hard to believe that these guys are not actually getting a share hmm? of all the cor corruption money that is going on in this country. All the monies that are getting lost from our government coffers, the teachers cannot be paid, doctors are on strike, all these things are going on. Do you know who is the head of the EACC? You're a former bishop. Namnaringanga naizo makos zenu za leadership, sg ethics and integrity, sg what? Your poster child is this bishop Oginde. And what is he doing in this country when this country is going up the way it is going? Mabonga254, also known as K. O. T. Sonko, he has recently joined Morara Kebaso Senior in going around the country and revealing to us ghost projects. Just take a look at this video of how K. O. T. Sonko was addressing the nation. Listen to this. Asa, sisi tumekuja leo. Ni kwa sababu uh, tumekuwa tunapigana kule Nairobi na mumesema tufikishe civic education hapa kwa ground. Mimi naitwa Marvin Mabonga na wengi wetu uh, wengi wenu pale kwa mtandao wa Twitter mnanijua kama Kioti Sonko. Kijana mkakamavu ambaye aliuliza rais maswali ngumu sana akashindwa kuchibu. Na tumekuja hapa kusema kwamba hatutaki ukabila Kwa sababu ukabila, yokitu imekuwa ikitunanyasa sisi hapa nchini kama vijana. Wataka kusema pia mambo na corruption, tukeheza kuitupilia mbali. Na kwa sababu sisi vijana, tunataka kuona nchi yetu ikisonga mbele. Inamanisha kwamba, kijana yote ya mae mekitimu uh, miaka kumina nane. Kamu umetimisha miaka kumina nane, uende ukachukue kitambulisho, ukisha chukua kitambulisho. Tukeza kuchukua kura Na pia tumekua na viongozi wafisadi sana katika nchi yetu Kwanzia leo tunasema viongozi wafisadi wakaeza kurudi nyumbani As you can see K.O.T. Sonko in his real names Marvin Mabonga He's preaching the word of tribalism Let us all end tribalism in this country We are all one people And also he's preaching about corruption Let us end corruption because corruption has been a disease in this country taking us backwards and also is urging the people of Kenya if you're 18 years and above take your ID and go register and take your voting card before 2027 
kuwa viongozi wa fisadi wakaweza kurudi nyumbani Askei OT Sonko and his team go around the country revealing to us God's projects and also preaching the word of togetherness, peace and ending tribalism in this country. There are some fools and buffoons who are still primitive and living in the primitive ages. Look at this video of how this GSS intern teacher was being treated. <laughs> I cannot get out of the school compound. You cannot dictate where I'm supposed to be sitting. We have a staff room for the members of all the I members of staff. We have a staff it is room. Me locating you to say no, you cannot locate me under a tree. Who are you? You cannot locate me under a tree, Mr. Buenahe teacher. You cannot locate me under a tree. You will, you, will, you will go there. I'll not sit there. There is a staff room for all members of staff. Uh, you will not. You cannot join the staff room. I'm telling you, you cannot join the staff room. Can you give me the chair one? What? Can you leave this chair? I have a right to sit Can in the staff room. The I have a right to sit in the staff room. Mamar school. I'm a member of. I'm a member of the school. Uh, whether you are using the phone or what? Don't push me. Don't push me. That is why we all need to go and register, take our voter card, and also end corruption and end tribalism in this country. This is so sad to watch this video. Macha, whether you are using the phone or what? I believe many of you are familiar with this story that happened to our brother Bruce John, a Mombasa based uh, blogger and activist. He was attacked by goons and he was assaulted, inhumanely assaulted, thanks to the governor of Mombasa County, Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir. But before I talk too much, I just want you guys to hear what Bruce said in this video, which led to his assault. Listen to this. I'll be sending video to audios and messages. Madam Mumem Tukana, Buanake Mama Zamzam. Mimi Nam Tukana, Mama Kabuswamad. Mama Nasim, Mkwako, Kinsho. Kwanini Ulituzaliya, Mtoto Mwanaharamu, Kwa Imo Mbasa. Mama Nasim, Mkwako, Kinsho. Take me wherever you want to take me. Mama Nasim, Mkwako, Ulizituzalia mtoto mwanaharamu Governor Sijuya Abduswamad Madamu memtukana thima Na mtukana mkiu Abduswamad Mkiu Abduswamad ni maasha ngi Hayuko na Abduswamad Wanapigia tu picha wanekani hati governor Yuko na bibi na hana bibi Mkiu Abduswamad ni maasha Amestiri watu Ma security ma security wagio wa shamla mkiu Abduswamad while I was watching this video, I'm not just only listening to the insults, but I'm seeing a frustrated Kenyan who is seeking justice, who is fighting for good governance in this country. I'm seeing a frustrated Kenyan who is suffering, but yet our politicians are enjoying life and posting them on social media accounts. After this video, the governor of Mombasa, Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir, decided to send goons who attacked our brother Bruce John, who assaulted him inhumanely. And after the assault, this is what our brother Bruce had to say about that event. Sisi leo tumekuja kufunza adabu. Tuna kufanya kitu chenye ukitoka hapa, ukiongea tu, tuna post kwa mtandao. Sasa wale vijana walo nitikuwa ishirini, wakawa wengine, watatu wako uku, wameziba, watatu wako uku, na five, wamenizuia pali, wameni ala wana nguvu wamenishika nimefurukuta lakini wapi huko akilipiga ikawa pale kando kuna vijana wawili wamevaa mask au vijana ni wale kuna hizi gari za kubeba uchafu hizi za Mombasa county za kubeba uchafu wale vijana wenye kupakia yale magunia wale ma street boys wale ndio wakao wamelipwa mmoja akavua nguo akalivua nguo akalilala paka kamaliza wa pili akalivua tena nguo akalilala paka kamaliza nikajikojolea nasikia maumivu baada yao vijana wanaochukua video ni baada ya vijana kutoka Kisauni, Sindimba na Sele ambao walikuwa wanafanya kwa wanapaka size wanafanya kwa Mombasa yangu 
na washika paka buu na wambia jamaa kama kunipigia msha nipigia bora bali dhulubu na jili watu walijua this is very painful to hear as you can see our brother bruce he suffered he suffered under the same hands of the people who should have protected him and also listened to his cries but yet they decided to send goons to attack him and also to assault him in a very inhumane way so to you governor of Mombasa, governor Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, may you never know peace. You are a shame in this country and are a shame to Islam. You are a caste man. And to those men, those young men who was paid peanuts by the governor to go and assault our brother Bruce, our brother who is fighting also for their rights, may you never know peace in this country. You are a shame in this country and you don't deserve to be among us. We as a Gen Z, we will never give you our votes. And to the people of Kenya, don't give your votes to such criminals, such terrorists who are assaulting our young men and women in this country. Accusation ni kwamba ali create content na kataja governor Abdul Somad na family yake. Na mimi naona it was only fair yeye pengine basi awe subjected to a fair hearing. So amefanywa sodomy na akatupwa kwenye gunia kule mwa Kirunge. Yule ni kakangu, yule ni babake mtu mtoto wa mtu. Sawa walivofanya si sawa. May your bloodline never know peace. You have not only traumatized the Kenyan people, but also you have traumatized your own family members and your own children. To the people of Mombasa, next time when you go to vote, vote wisely and don't vote in such people, such inhuman people, such evil people. Let us take a short break. We're gonna be right back. Welcome to a special journey today. We're talking about something super important: supporting local businesses. It's like being a superhero for your community. Join us in celebrating the heart and soul of our neighborhoods. Let's get started. <laughs> Yeah, Mesoka is if you are at uh, Embu stage, you'll find like different people selling uh, different kind of products and we have our brother here right here selling his products. My brother, what do you sell? I do sell something like chains, earphones, bring brings, like specs, and also nero cutters, and also sprays that help me to earn a living. Yeah, Mr. Guys, remember it's all about supporting local business too, right at uh, Embo County. And uh, I've just bought this uh, bling bling right at uh, uh, Embo stage, man. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much. This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Albis Deli. A spoken words king and also human rights defender Willie Oweba has been going around the country injecting and also uh, amplifying civic education. Look at how the people are appreciating our brother Willie Oweba. Ruto 
We all have seen those officers who always take bribes on the roads, also take bribes from matatu conductors and drivers, and if they fail, they end up putting them in police stations and in cells. This man of integrity decided to inject and to warn those kind of officers who are practicing corruption in a daily basis. Listen to this. Zaski hapa, ni ima jegemezo ya madonda, choreni hizo rieng, asibi ye bana, Siki madonda bado wanajitaftia bana, wanajitaftia ngima bana, dele tu bana ni kuwamara bana, mkuitisha kichele bana jo, haya bana bana. Cheki sa hivile kumegadha na kumboka jo, kono nda kwa pige shugli gani, na ni kuchitaftia bana mtu wangu, ni kutafta ngima bana di kwa bana kukulwe. Kwa ni jo rada, achore ni jo manze madonda wa pige shugli, si bie. Tama gide huko, magide huko bana wanasumbua mama mboga joe ni kubishana na donda bana mtujo Wana shugli ni kujitaftia na jitaftia Chore ni hizo rieng si besti bana Niwera bana jo wanajitaftia mtu wangu Kwa za nitaje warekwa Ama bisti warekwa tunuangamu shugli zee na mchore madonda wache ni kwa sumbua deila Yo kichele muna itisha deila itatoka Kwa ni nyuyo amuna kichele, toshekena mshara enu. Personally, I've met good officers out there. Officers who have respect. Officers with integrity, good morals, and the list goes on. But of course, there are few bad apples among them. And that's not all. Even the city council of Nairobi, also known as Kanjos, there are also a few bad apples among them. And just listen and see what they did to our Kenyan brother. Ida, check if even you are not fine. Do I? I can't even you are not fine. Come so umse. Bangalia too. Walai. Ah, me apuna. You are not picking at you. I cannot come here. You are not picking shop. Yangu. Ah, ya puna. You are not picking at you. Me come here. You are not picking shop. Ah, puna. Ah, puna. What are you picking shop? Where where picking at you wrong side? Missy Charlie. What are you picking shop? Yangu. Walai. Ay, lakini vive nye mna mna ni misando li sipuwa. Ay, li sipuwa. Uwe ni pige tu kama una ni pige. Si makende angu umeshiko umefanya. Unona venu na nilularuli angu mbaka grao. Iko sawa. Ay, iko sawa. Ay, 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 ay. Since Gen Z's, millennials and all Kenyans took to the streets to fight for good governance and protest against corruption and evil leaders in this country. Many lives have been lost along the way. People have been abducted and that is still happening till date. So Metro Booming, also known as Polo Kimani, decided to inject and this is what he had to say. Listen, each and everyone who was out there on 28th, on 25th, on Nane Nane, was there for their own personal reasons. Mengida na protest because he's tired every time he visits a government office, he has to pay for bribe for services. Mengida na protest to join his today, but aki request alone your help before he fike kwa account ya ke fast in a pity kwa account ya politician, do he generate interest when he umse ala lalanja. Mengida na protest because every time he wants to start a business, carry an hour in his neck. Everybody was there for their own personal reasons. And... Unfortunately, people have paid, have paid the greatest price in this world, which is life. Many lives were lost. So the moment we give you a voice, a platform, to be the one voicing out these uh, demands or wants, no one let a mambo jinga to me be a slogan. Who gives a shit about your slogan? This is not some pissing contest. This is people fighting against oppression. And some of you seem to have lost sight of what you're actually fighting for Mkisemati movement in Mikufa. You know what that means? Mkisemati movement in Mikufa, it means you have sat down and said, okay, uh, the way things are, I've decided to uh, let the government fight me and lubricate. What I can say is this, the protest is still on and we will never stop fighting for this country. We will never stop fighting for good governance and we will never stop fighting till justice is served thank you so much for joining us on this show of today show new trend i am elvis Derry. may god bless you and may god bless kenya <laughs>
Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.